What's up you guys? Welcome to my story time video. Now this is part three of the high school enemy story. Part one was when me and my high school enemy was beefing because I was selling snacks at a cheaper cost and I stole his customers and bought me a car with the money. Part two was when me and my high school enemy was working at the same job together. Now part three is gonna be about when my high school enemy was my waiter at a restaurant. Now this all started on a Sunday. It was the first Sunday of the month back in 2013. So me and my family used to go to church every first Sunday of the month. Then at the church, we used to go to a restaurant to eat as a family. Those were the good old days. So on this particular Sunday, my aunt decided, hey, let's go to Papa's at the church. My mama wasn't so happy about that because she wanted to go to Olive Garden. But I was a little happy about going to Papa Seafood because I used to work there. Mind you, I wasn't working at Papa's for a whole two years on that particular day when we went. So I was excited. I wanted to go to see if some of my same coworkers still work there. And I also wanted to eat some good food because I was missing the food because I haven't worked there in a whole two years. So we all get there as a family at Papa Seafood and there was a lot of us. I think it was like 20 of us on that day. So it was like a 30 minute wait for our table because it was so many of us so they had to put a whole bunch of tables together. So while we waiting, I'm talking to a whole bunch of the waiters because you know, I used to work there and I still know some of the people. So I'm just speaking to everybody saying, hey, how you doing, hey, what's up? I ain't seen you in a while. I see you still here holding it down, huh? Yeah, I'm still here. How you doing, Charles? Where you working at now? I work at Long John Silver's as a manager. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I also used to work at Chick-fil-A as a cook. Oh, so it seems like you're doing real good. Yeah, I'm doing good. Well, it's nice to see you. You look nice. Thank you. So do you. So I'm just talking, and then next thing you know, the host says, your table is ready. So we all walk to our table. We sit down. We look at the menu, I already know what I want because I basically know the menu because I used to work there. So my family just looking to see what they want. Next thing you know, this waiter comes out and I forgot his name, I'm gonna call him Christopher. And I never saw him before because he wasn't working there when I was working there. So Christopher said, hi, my name is Christopher. I will be your servant today. What can I get you guys started off with? And so we all order our drinks and everything. So he goes to the kitchen. Next thing you know, another waiter comes out and greets us. And this waiter looked very, very familiar. I said to myself, nah, that can't be him. That can't be him. Next thing you know, he mentioned his name. He said, hi, my name is Cameron. I will be your servant today. I said, that is him. I said, wait a minute, hold up. Cameron quit Papa Seafood back when I was working there two years ago. Now, I know that's not Cameron. That can't be Cameron. So did he come back? I didn't know this. This was a total shock to me. So Cameron looked at me, and I looked at him like we just made eye contact. And I, like we was just mean mother like, and he was mean mugging me back, then I smiled like, cause that smile meant that I was gonna do something to him. I was gonna work him like a slave. So I told my mama, I said, mama, mama, you saw that black guy, Cameron, that greeted us? She said, mm-hmm, she looking at the menu. I'm trying to see what I want. Mama, listen to me. Yeah, what boy? I said, I went to high school with that boy. You did? Yeah. And mama, we used to work here together. He screwed me over. He quit on me. And then he had me work by myself one night. Oh, dang, that's messed up. Mm -hmm. So you know what, mama? You, we gonna work him to death. Nah, don't do that, Charles. You know, don't do that. You just got out of church and you talking about working him. Uh, yeah, yeah, you right. And it's Sunday. I shouldn't do that. Nah, you shouldn't do that. You just got out of church. You heathen. I'm sorry, mama. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna work him like that. And then my agent say, two wrongs don't make a right choice. Then you know what? I'ma just let it go. Hopefully he do his job right. So him and Christopher come back and they said, well, can we take your order? So they write down the order. My Amy, she ordered some gumbo and she ordered something else too. And I ordered the Parker Deli. Now the Parker Deli is like a pasta. It comes with shrimp and sausage. And it's, it's like really, really good. And so it's 20 of us at the table. So only 10 of us got our food and the other 10 was still waiting on the food. But whenever you have a big table like that, 
the food's supposed to come out all at the same time. It's not supposed to be one half of the table get their food while the other half waiting like 30 minutes before they food up. So I had got my food first and my mama still haven't got her food, so I'm getting pissed off. So I said, mama, you still ain't got your food. And then my cousin, he ain't even had his food yet. He had ordered like a ribeye or something like that because he couldn't eat seafood. So he ordered like a ribeye or something. He was like, I ain't got my food. But my cousin, he don't mind that. My cousin, that's all cool because he knew Cameron from high school. He knew him and he was friends with his cousin Oscar. So my cousin was like, you know, I'm not going to work him like that. It's all good. It's all good. I ain't going to work him like that. And so he comes over, I said, hey, Cameron, my mama still ain't got her food and my other family ain't got their food yet. So my mama, she one of those people, oh man, rest in peace, mama. My mama, she, she resting in peace, I shouldn't be talking about, but my mama, she had zero tolerance. Her patience was short. So my mama said, hey, Cameron, come over here. Come on, Cameron, you come on over here, brother. Come on over here, brother. So he smiled, he said, well, I'm playing. My mama said, I need to get my meal for free because Half of this table got their food, and the other half ain't got their food, and I still ain't got my food. Why I ain't got my food yet, Cameron? What's going on in that kitchen, Cameron? I said, yeah, Cameron, what's going on in that kitchen? She said, you shut up. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what's going on in that kitchen? He said, oh, oh well, well, I'm going to uh, go check on it. I'm going to go check on it. Yeah, you check on that. You go check on that. You go check on my food. You go check on my food, dog. <laughs> and so he go to the kitchen, then he come back out. He gave my mama her food. My mama said, oh, brother, 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 brother. Come back over here. Come back over here, brother, brother. This ain't right. This ain't right. I wanted fried tilapia. I didn't ask for no grilled tilapia. Take it back. Take it back, brother. Take it on back on to that kitchen, brother. Take it on back, brother. And we need some more bread at this table, too, because we ran out. We hungry. Come on, Cameron. Come on, Cameron. So I'm enjoying it. I'm sitting back in the chair like this. Just enjoying it, so he came back. I said, thank you for the bread, Cameron. He looked at me like. <laughs> so he go back, and so my auntie, she ordered gumbo, and she got something, I forgot what she had, but it wasn't gumbo though. So my auntie said, oh, excuse me, Cameron, come here. My auntie, she one of those nice people. You know, if you mess up in the restaurant, she not gonna complain. But she gonna complain like in a nice way. She not like my mama, and that's gonna give you a hard time. No, that's not what I asked. Well, this ain't right, baby. Take it back, brother. She, my auntie wasn't like, she not like that. So my auntie, she'd be like, excuse me, up camera, can you come over here, please? I asked for gumbo. Um, this is not, this is not right, you know. It was, it was like a stool or something that she ordered. I really can't remember. But my auntie said, you know what, I will eat it. It's okay, I will eat it because I know that you're not used to working a large table. He said, thank you so much, ma'am. My mama said, brother, brother, where my fried tilapia? You get on that, you get on that. And we need a discount too. I need to talk to a manager. Bring the manager over here. Bring the manager up in here. So the manager comes over. Excuse me, is everything okay over here? No, uh-uh. My mama said, no, 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 no. So my auntie said, can you please be quiet? To my mama, uh, be quiet, my food ain't right. Jesus Christ, we just got out of church and you acting like that. You telling Charles to act like that, but you acting like hating yourself. <laughs> you shut up. She talking to the manager. She talking to the manager. She, and so I don't know what the manager talking about, but when we got the bill, they gave us a 50% discount. I said, that's what's up right there. My mama said, and they ain't getting no tip either. <laughs> My auntie say, oh, that's just trifling. You need to tip them. Oh, he go with tip all right. I'm gonna leave a pin down at this table. They need to do better than that. I said, you know, they ain't getting no tip. So Cameron came by and you know, I really don't act like this, but I really can't stand Cameron. So Cameron came by. I said, hey Cameron, you did a great job today. He looked at me like, <laughs> so my cousin like, really Charles, that's not even cool right there. I said, I don't care. I don't like that food. I don't care. Yes, I know I was petty. I got it from my mom. Mom paid it to me. Where's the piece, Mama Ray? <laughs> <laughs> and so Cameron just didn't like that. Cameron looked like he wanted to cry. I said, I hope you get fired for this. I hope you get fired for this for screwing up our meal. My mama said, We ain't coming back to this <laughs> rabbit mother. We ain't coming back over here. So my aunt just shaking her head. And my aunt said, Okay, everybody, let's take pictures. Uh, my mama said, We ain't taking no pictures. We ain't taking no pictures. I ain't happy. I said, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy, got screwed up. So I'm all on Facebook, telling Facebook everything that happened. And I called Josh. I said, Josh, Cameron screwed up on the order. 
he said, yeah, bro, you and your family, you, you know, that's just karma, you know? That's karma for what he did, bro, you know? I don't even know if Cameron and Josh are still friends to this day, but um, man, I hope they ain't friends, you know, because I don't like them. I, I don't like him or his cousin Oscar. So that was part three of the high school enemy. I really hope you guys enjoy all three parts of this story and stay tuned for more story times. Peace out.